I'd like to talk a little bit more about mastectomy type. Uh, as I mentioned in the other segment, um, we the two general categories uh, are skin sparing mastectomy versus nipple sparing mastectomy. In a skin sparing mastectomy, almost all of the breast skin is left behind except for the darkly pigmented nipple areolar complex, um, which obviously contains the nipple. Whereas in a nipple sparing mastectomy, the nipple and all of uh, the areola and the breast skin itself is left behind. Often, when someone has a nipple sparing mastectomy, the mastectomy incision where the breast tissue is removed is made at the inframammary fold. The inframammary fold is the crease that exists in the lower part of the breast right where it meets the chest wall. Uh, there are alternative locations, however, that is the most popular location where the incision for a nipple sparing mastectomy is made. The reason for that is that after everything is healed, the incision is very difficult to see, um, especially when wearing a bra or a bathing suit. But even when the patient is not clothed, that incision is often held uh, or located in a natural fold or crease in a shadow where it's quite difficult to see. And that is to say that women who have had nipple sparing mastectomies and reconstructions after those um, often can have an appearance of not having had a mastectomy at all. And that's very fortunate. Skin sparing mastectomies are mastectomies once again in which the nipple and areola have to be removed. And thus, um, when someone has a nipple sparing mastectomy, the mastectomy scar has to be located on the front of the breast. That nipple sparing mastectomy incision often is closed in a straight line that goes back and forth or horizontally across the breast. In rare circumstances, that incision is up and down. Um, the decision making behind that and the discussion of that are a little bit beyond what I would like to go in this introductory video. But suffice it to say, most skin sparing mastectomies, i.e. mastectomies where the nipple is removed, end up having a scar that rests across the breast. If a patient chooses to later have either nipple tattooing or have a nipple reconstructed and have that tattooed, those scars often are very difficult to see because the nipple tattoo and the nipple that is reconstructed, if that's what the patient chooses to have, often creates a very um, efficient, a very effective camouflage appearance.